Chris, what is wrong with you? Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm, I'm fine. <clears throat> You're using an oxygen mask. You're obviously not fine. No, really, I, um, I am. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. The only thing wounded is my pride. It's so embarrassing moving that bench. I just start sucking wind, so... You don't have to be embarrassed. No, oh, gosh, I feel like such a, a wimp, you know? I didn't want you to see me that way, so I thought I'd just run over here and get an oxygen boost. So you thought that I wouldn't notice that you just disappeared? I honestly thought I was gonna be back, you know, so... so quickly, but I... I don't understand. This doesn't make sense. Why would... why were you so out of breath? Well, you know, it's like I, I said, you know, sleep-deprived, so worried about... This, uh, this patient of That mine. doesn't usually affect lung function. I know, but, you know, it's not working out like I used to, and I got this whole chief of staff thing just tearing me apart, so... What? Yeah. I know everything you've told me, but it's starting to sound like a bunch of excuses. Just tell me the truth, Chris. Are you hiding something from me? It's just, um... Simple stress, really. You know how some people under pressure they get sick to their stomach, so it's just uh, sort of. Oh hi! Oh, the nurse said you were in here. What's going on? Oh, uh, nothing. We're just having a private conversation, so we ducked in here. But if you need this room, Dad, we can we can leave. You no, know? no, I apologize for interrupting. I was looking for you, though. Uh, what's going on? Well, uh, there's something I'd like to run by you. Uh, I'm listening. Well, it's the research project we were talking about. If you're interested. Well, yeah, I'm interested. But now this can't be construed as favoritism. No, no, no way. Well, listen, uh, when you're finished, uh, stop by the office and I'll show you the material that I picked up. I should probably go uh, talk to my dad. Chris, wait, hold on. If something was going on, you would tell me, wouldn't you? Yeah, of course. Hello? Barbara and I are getting married and we need two witnesses. Can you do it? What? Oh my god, congratulations! Barbara and Henry are getting married. Congratulations to ya. Is that Chris? Yeah. Do you think he'd be the other witness? I don't know. I will ask. He wants to know if you'll be a witness. Uh, absolutely. I'd be honored. He says he'll do it. When's the wedding? How soon can you get here? Uh, Dad, I'm gonna have to talk to you about that project later. Katie and I are gonna be witnesses over at Henry and Barbara's wedding. They're getting married today? Right now, apparently. Oh, you're kidding! No, we're headed over there right yeah. now. Oh, I'm so happy for her. Where's the wedding? It's, I guess, at Barbara's suite. I don't know, there's only gonna be four of us, so they don't need any place bigger. Oh, that seems kind of sad, doesn't it? I mean, to have such a big event and no fanfare at all. Well, Mom, it's not Barbara's first wedding. Heck, it's not Henry's first wedding this year, so... Oh, <laughs> but one hopes it will be their last for both of them. Amen. Uh, excuse me. Wait a minute. Listen, you better get over there. Henry is nervous at best, so you better not keep him waiting. Yeah, yeah, right. thanks, Dad. I'll talk to you later. Good to okay. see you. Oh, wait, 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 just a minute. There's been a change in plans. Oh, what took you so long? He was a little nervous. A... That's what we love about him, isn't it? <laughs> it is. He's very glad that you're here. Congratulations, you two. I'm so happy things worked out. Thank you. Oh, Judge Frankel, I'd like you to meet Katie Snyder and Chris Hughes, friends and family. Nice to meet you, Katie. Chris. That's right. Nice yeah. to meet you. Well, let's get the show on the road, let's okay? Do it. <laughs> <laughs> what? No flowers? You gotta be kidding me. And music. You don't have music? You can't have a wedding without music. Come on, guys, you're changing your lives. You have to make this special. You're right. Uh, yeah, you deserve better than this. You know what? If I wanted a big old wedding, I would have demanded one. I just don't want to wait another minute to be your wife. Okay? Okay. <laughs> mm, come on, you, you you can't do this. This is pitiful. At least let's go down the lounge and we can toast you when we're done. Yeah. Okay? We can get champagne later. I don't need pomp and circumstance. No, no, Chris is right. Downstairs will be much better. Oh, oh, oh come on. It'll be fabulous. Wait. Oh. You know, we don't have to make a public spectacle about this. We really don't. What are you talking about? It's your wedding day. You don't want to sneak off and do it in secret. You want to show off a little. 
But this really isn't about other people. On the other hand, we don't have anything to hide. That's right. Come on. Oh, my. What are you all doing here? Happy wedding. Oh, Gwen. Thank you, honey. Congratulations, Barbara. I really am happy for you. Thank you, Ellen. It would be an honor to give you away, Mom, if you'd let me. I would love that. Hey, kiddo. I volunteered to be your matron of honor if the job's not taken. Nothing would make me oh, happier. <laughs> That's the idea, Mom. Me too. Me oh. too. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry, Brad can't be here to be your best man, but I'm available. I think it's fitting that an occasional cross-dresser like myself should have a gender-jumbled wedding party. <laughs> should have been you marrying Barbara all along. I'm here now. That's, that's all that matters. If everybody's ready, shall we take our places? Yeah. Sweetheart, I'm going to stop in the ladies' room. I'll meet you in the lobby. Okay. Okay. John. Hello, Bob. Kim. John. What are you doing in Oakdale? <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything before. I do not want you to feel pressured because of a stupid bouquet of flowers. I just got carried away by the moment, that's all. That's, that's not it. Um, I want nothing more than to spend the rest of my life with you, Katie. The problem is, I, I don't know how long that would be. What do you mean? What are you talking about? It's the truth. I'm sick. And I may not get better. <laughs> 